Hi. Hi. Good I'm okay. I'm sorry, I've been cleaning while I'm waiting. I either cook or clean when I'm nervous. Okay. And I can't get when you're nervous. Oh, yes. What are you nervous about? Well, that boil has been going off, and this is. I had you here. Come on, turn this down. Um. I had you here in January. I read all the notes. Okay, so let me not babble. Uh, what happened to the assaulting contractor? Who put this in? Uh, Mike Di Vittoria, he was my plumber. He passed away. He had a heart attack and died. Oh. He's a master plumber. He was from Massapequa. Okay. A wonderful man. His okay. wife is still not over it. Oh, wow. He died about four years ago. Wonderful. Anybody okay. who talks about him will tell you this guy was the okay. best. Understood. Uh, where's the boiler? Come on. Outside? No, 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 no. Please, no. We're not going to torture you today with crawl spaces and hideous things like okay. that. Okay. No. Yeah, please, this is not torture. Come on. Okay, lead the way. Lead the way. <clears throat> so I understand that uh, in January you had the... I had two trips. You had a expansion tank issue, relief valve, and then flame rods that were disintegrated. He told me it was fixed. This is the basement, a.k.a. my granddaughter's playroom. Watch ahead. Okay. Get some lights. Get some. My sewing room. It used to be a lot more mine, but it's it's evolved. It's not mine anymore, you can see. Here you go. I left it ringing because I wasn't going to do the reset and then do it again. I figured, let you handle it. You're here. Okay. Okay. Green star. You know it. Yes. I don't know why it keeps doing this. I did have, come on, you get in there and I'll, I'll, yeah. I'm good. I'm going to get that out of the way. Uh, nope. I got, um, the water <laughs> is crappy. I spoke to Daniel who came to yep. have the water treatment come. He flushed the boiler nevertheless to make certain there was no issue with that. But it seems to happen at night. And I don't get it. Gotcha. I'm at wit's end. No, I hear you. I know you know. I mean, I'm not taking this out on anybody. I'm just... All right, we hit the reset button. So the E9 is a uh, safety temperature limit issue. Indicative of overheating. Could be a bad um, internal circulator, no circulation. We'll see what it does. So right now we have the opposing T's. And we're at 68 degrees, 69, and slowly climbing. There it goes. sucks is that there's no easy way to remove any air out of here all right so i popped open the relief valve get some air out of here you can hear it yeah great master plumber huh no means for air removal. All right, I checked for voltage across my pins in the Molex connector. I should have 120 volts. I have no voltage. Our control board is not giving voltage to the circulator and she's overheating. Um, I checked our high limit uh, flu sensor. Uh, that's within ohms. And I also checked the high limit on the heat exchanger also within ohms. Got a bad control board. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Can we update? Yeah. The internal circulator, which circulates the hot water that it needs to make, is not getting any power. The internal control board is defective. So this broke sometimes between January and now, is what you're telling me? No, um, yesterday, today, whenever you stop having hot water or heat. 
Was that today or yesterday or it was in January? January. This is the same problem oh. that I had in January. You had no heat or hot water in January? Oh, no, of course. Oh. It, when he put all those... Oh, no, I, I, that's, that's why I'm I asked. sorry. I'm okay. sorry. I wasn't being clear. Yeah. Everything worked fine after he left until a couple of days ago. Okay. So this problem originated a couple of days ago, unfortunately. So this is another part. How many more parts? I mean, is this going to keep going on with this boiler? Um, it's 13 years old. So far, I've put... All I can say is that the model that you have is Bosch's Rolls-Royce. I know. That's why I bought uh, it. However, it was not installed properly, okay. and it has not been serviced properly. What are you talking about? We spoke earlier on the phone today. I told you what it needs. That was me you spoke to on the phone. I'm oh. the owner of the company. Right. Uh, yeah, you when, told when me. When customers you... yell and scream at me on the phone, I react by personally appearing to see with my own eyes what's going on. Okay. And so I verify. Say, what... you, you no, know, no, you... I'm fine. I'd rather stand because I'm a little dirty. I, I just replaced the water this morning. Uh, but the internal control board, which like the brain of the computer, brain or the brain it. or the the motherboard of the computer. Right. Yeah, that was the right word. Um, is no longer sending power to the circulator. Okay. Now, the circulator could also may be dead, but I can't verify that until you get we give it power right. and hopefully it turns. Now, I, I, there is a few steps to take to make sure it spins freely, and it does spin, spin freely. So electrically, it should work, but mechanically, there may be something else wrong. Okay. So to answer your question, you know, what else can go wrong with this machine? You have the equivalent of a... 12 or 13 year old car, which I, I used that exact uh, that analogy on the phone call, on the phone call earlier, um, that is aged. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, right? But it's also a high efficiency computer, right? And I'm not saying it's obsolete, I'm nowhere near that because it's still a current model. There's a newer version of it, it's just a brand new serial number, that's all it is. But, they're not going to reinvent the wheel, Bosch, because this is their quote-unquote flagship. That's why I bought it. Yeah. It's the one of the most expensive units that you can I buy know. that's on the market. However, it was never really installed properly and was chugging along until it, it's not chugging along anyway. So, for example, an, an, an issue, uh, uh, one observation is there's no way to remove air from the boiler itself. There is ways, but not really like the way it's supposed to. You mean they, that hose coming out is not the option. Yeah, that hose is off of a relief valve inside the machine, but I that's one of the first things I did. I popped it open and see if I got any air out of there. Because you can hear something going on in the machine, but the machine's overheating. So once I reset it, it quickly gets to 199 degrees, and it shuts itself down Correct. to save itself. Right. Because it's going to burn up. It's a fail-safe. Yes. So we checked the sensors to make sure they're right. Well, they are, because it, it, you can feel it's hot. Um, so the sensors are correct, but the circulator is not getting any power. You need a new control board. Now, to answer your question, what else can go wrong? There's a lot of other parts in here. You know, we replaced the flame rods, which were basically disintegrated, you know, three months ago. That doesn't happen overnight. That is over time, something like that happens. It could be over a period of six months. It could be over a couple of years. Um, the internal expansion tank, uh, which absorbs pressure, I know we replaced that in January. That's more of a mechanical part. The relief valve that lets the, you know, that um, opens at a certain pressure, that's also mechanical, but everything else is electric. Everything. From the gas con ignition, you know, the gas valve itself, right. the control board, the circulator, there are, I don't know, maybe a dozen sensors inside this machine. And there's, keep in mind, this also does heat and hot water Correct. in the same box. Not the same time, but it does it in the same box. So then there's the, there's the components that separate those two, so you don't poison yourself with hot water that's used for heating your house. Right. But they don't, they don't mix. Right. <laughs> boil water will kill you with the, over time, not instantly, but uh, boil water, if it's mixed with domestic water, potable water will not be good. So you have, you have, you have other things, and we just speak about like the surge, power surges and, and surge protection over the phone. When did you have that problem with the, with the refrigerator? Oh, maybe years ago. Okay. Years ago. And now I know this is kind of like... I had it recently? No. Has it been the last five years? No. Yeah. I know this is not technically Long Beach, but you're on the Barrier Island, and I, I, I know it's it's the joys of living on the on the Long Beach, Atlantic Beach, Barrier Island. You know, it's the power is not the greatest, uh, but it's reliable generally. You, could this have been caused by a, sur a surge? I can't, I can't answer that question, but, you, you know, unless you have something to rule that out, 
You can't. So can can you can you spend another few you know thousand plus more dollars? Yeah, you're gonna have to do something at a minimum to either get this up and running again and eventually. And I, I, I and I hate to say this, eventually someone, whether it's you or the next owner, is gonna replace that and well, start over. Well, that's 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 the issue. Am I gonna keep pouring money into something that's gonna break constantly? I mean, I didn't even get sixty days. Come on, I didn't even get sixty I understand. days. I understand. And that's and a it, lot it, of money to me. I agree. I mean, I'm not sitting on the bay in a mansion. Close enough. <laughs> and you're looking at the clip. I know, I know. I know. I'm, I'm trying to make you laugh. I know, no, I know no, it's frustrating. I, 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 but, thank I, God, but listen, there is there is a silver lining to this, and that, that is that it's 55 degrees outside, and it's not December, January, February, and it's like 10 degrees outside, and we're in a snowstorm. Correct. Because that would, cause that would be... That, that would be. However, I have a Regency fireplace, <laughs> which is the best investment yeah. I have. But made. but it you needs... still have pipes in this house which contain water, which if it was like winter, winter, they would break. Y you would have you just walk away. Exactly. Well, you know, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't mean that literally, but it's like you, you just get, what else are you gonna do? You, you can't. You exactly. have to suck it up and deal with it, and then like God take care of it. What we're talking about is a whole board. From what you're saying, if I'm the, the, the control board, the motherboard for the computer or the control, the main control board for your boiler is no longer doing what it needs to do. Okay. So you have two choices. We could replace that control board yeah. and continue our testing, make sure nothing else is broken. Right. And you'll get a new warrant. You'll get a warranty on the control board and the labor for it to put that in. That's about it. Listen, if, if a part that we put in, such as the expansion tank or the relief valve or the ignition rods were bad, we'd be taking care of it it's on the warranty. We'll deal with Bosch. Have a nice day. But... It's a new issue now, and either you need to replace the control board, or we need to replace the talk about replacing the, the entire system and give yourself a brand new warranty with you know what have you and go that route. I'm not saying do either or. I'm just giving you the the two options that, or do nothing. You know, but you obviously, you obviously have no hot I water. can't do nothing. So you have two choices. We can repair this and get it up and running. I have to order the part. We may have it in our shop. I don't know. But you also said this wasn't installed properly. You also have installation issues. We there's no there's there's certain things that are missing that are quote unquote code compliance like devices that sense low water pressure in the system. You don't have one of those. Why it was never put in? I have no idea. But more importantly, the the means to remove air from the boiler are not there. There are what we call the isolation or flush valves on the space heating side of the boiler are not there because of the lack of the what we call the primary loop pipe or the manifold that Bosch sells as an option for this boy. You want to use that one because it's easier to service it moving forward. Otherwise, you have to make your own piping. So the installer made his own piping, but the valves and the drains aren't there to facilitate draining this thing, flushing it, and getting the air out. They're not there. It lasted fine for Correct. 12 years. 13, and now, yeah. And now it's like... So now you could replace control board. We could fight with more air. Maybe, maybe not. I know Daniel, out of the notes, he spent a significant amount of time trying to get all the air out of the system. And it's it's like a lose-lose situation. Because as you let in more air, fresh water from the street, there's pockets of air in there, bubbles and stuff. And you got, you're fighting against that. Because they never put an air separator on the boiler. It, it, whatever. So, so what you're right. saying is you can put in the control board, which is expensive, and you can put in that valve for the air and see how I, it I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother with you wouldn't Cause bother. you Because you have to manipulate a lot of the piping underneath All right. to get and, and, and it doesn't, I wouldn't I wouldn't make I wouldn't I wouldn't even entertain that conversation with you because it's, can, wa it's wasting your money. Okay, so what can I do to alleviate that issue or to make it better or is there's nothing? Replace the re replace. No, listen, I'm gonna say you have to replace the boy. That this, let's get that out there. It's, it's an option, but you, you don't have to do it. Would you replace the? Board? I personally would start over to less headaches. And trust me, when it comes to my home, I am the cheapest guy out there, for lack of better words. I like the shoemakers' kids don't have any shoes. They work. Their shoelaces are are like laced around the angles now, but it works, right? <laughs> Until I have no choice. Yes. This would be an opportunity where, listen, I, as much as my wife would yell at me, I, I would put the control board in and over the summertime, replace the boiler. Because it's it, it's going to cost me less. I still got to pay for a control board. 
But Why tonight, would it cost you less? Like, because I would do it over the summertime when we're not as busy. I got a slower oh. day. But that's just me. If this was a, a and I have some rental property, if this was a rental property, I happy tenant. It usually pays their bills on time, so I would make it go away. Yeah, but a new boiler is pricey. And yeah, yeah. It's I not, remember not, getting the boiler delivered to me because it was sandy. Yeah, and it was like six thousand dollars just in the box. No, I actually I called them direct. I told them where I was. And the guy gave me a discount. I think he felt sorry for me. I was sitting there and there was no downstairs. Uh -huh. And I had no heat except for the gas thing. And my sons were flying in from all over to help me. He gave me a really good price. Like $3,500. Wow. And then the installer was working in Manhattan. But he worked for the guy down the block who owned a bar in Manhattan. And did all this stuff for the apartments. I basically sat on his roof. You couldn't get a plumber. You know what I'm saying. I know, I know. Like. Yeah. And he said to me, have it delivered, call my wife, and have her schedule me. And I'll do it then because yeah. I'm insane. People, I mean, I have neighbors that I know. are crying. I know, I remember. It was, it was, so, it was, it was literally, yeah, I was going home with tears like every single day. Heart surgeons, and Correct. everybody was having a heart attack at the same time. Everyone. Yes. Including the plumbers themselves. Well, he did. I mean, I, he, I listen. I my 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 whole nice neighbor got destroyed. So I, I know nice I was in there. I'm sorry he did it wrong. Yeah. I, I, again, there 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 is there are a lot of phenomenal plumbers out there that are great with manipulating pipe to do what to to make it work and make it work the right way. And then there, listen. At the time, the the most common heating system was a boiler. That's cast iron, a box that sat on the floor, hooked up to your chimney, and it had a pilot light. And sometimes it had the newer ones had the automatic ignition where it would tick away on its own, like like yours does now. But it it was it was much different animal back then. My mother's people had regular like thirty yes, years. People had regular boilers, but then people got worried. Okay, what happens if another Sandy comes? What we could put this thing on the wall. It's a little bit more money. We could put this on the wall, but it won't be on the floor anymore. So if you get on the flood, if it goes up this high. We're all screwed. But if it doesn't go up that high, the boy is protected. Exactly. And they did the same thing with the out outdoor air conditioning unit. They raised them up. Yes. And I said, okay, well, and then the electric service panels, they, they made people spend tons of money putting these stuff in. And then no one bothered to say, hey, listen, it, this thing's got to be serviced every year. Every X amount of years has got to be taken apart and cleaned out. It's like it's a high-end car. You have to do it. If you run it, even with oil, changing the oil, you, unless you take the engine apart, you're going to have problems with it. And they specifically for that model make up, and it's quote unquote the five year maintenance kit. Every five years, you open up this box of parts and you follow the instructions. It's annoying, but it's the car, it's the Rolls Royce. I have an Audi, you don't have to explain. <laughs> yeah, I love the car. Best <laughs> car. And in case you're wondering, we replaced the control board. About half an hour later, system is up and running. That's what you call service.